Chapter 8. Electrical Starting and Ignition Systems Number 1. How can the remaining service life of a starter generator brushes be determined? By visually inspecting the amount of wear groove remaining on the brushes. Number 2. What components of the starter generator require periodic inspection? Both commutator and brushes should be inspected for wear beyond operational limits. Number three, between field and armature windings and starter generators, which ordinarily receive current flow, current for operations in the start mode. Generally, both field and armature receive current for operating in the start mode. Number four, what are possible sources of low pressure comprised of air used for starting jet transport aircraft equipped with air turbine starters? A ground power unit, GPU, and an onboard auxiliary power unit. Compressor bleed air from an already running engine. Number five. When should ignition ideally, ideally occur? A specific number of degrees, as determined by the manufacturer, before the piston reaches top dead center on the compression stroke. Number six, why are dual magnetos used in the engine ignition system? To improve combustion efficiency and provide provide redundancy for safety. Number seven, why is magneto timing so important? For an engine to run properly, the spark plug in a cylinder has to fire at a specific time. To produce the required energy for the spark at the required time, the magneto must be in the E-gap position, the breaker points must start to open, and the distributor must be electronically aligned with the particular cylinder. If any of these requirements are not correctly adjusted, the engine will run rough or may not run at all. When preparing a magneto for installation, first the internal timing must be correctly adjusted. Then the magneto to engine timing is adjusted. Number eight, what function does a magneto perform? It produces a high voltage that forces a spark to arc across a spark plug gap. Number nine, name the components of a high tension magneto system. A permanent multi-pole rotating magnet, soft iron core, and pole shoes. Number 10. Name the three main circuits of a high-tension magneto system. Magnetic, primary, and secondary. Number 11. What is an E-gap angle? It is a point a few degrees beyond the neutral position of a rotating magnet where maximum magnetic field stress exists. Number 12. What reduces arcing in the points and also aids in the collapsing of the magnetic field in a magnet? A capacitor. Number 13. How does a magneto produce the high voltage required to fire a spark plug? In the rotation cycle, when the magnetic rotor is in the E-gap position, the primary points open, which interrupts the current flow in the primary circuit causing a high rate of flux change in the core and introducing a pulse of high voltage into the secondary coil. Number 14, what is a P-lead and how does it function? The P 
P lead connects to the ignition switch to the primary circuit of the magneto. When the ignition switch is turned off, the P leads on both magnetos are grounded. When the ignition switch is turned to the left position, the right magneto is grounded so that only the left magneto operates, and vice versa. Number 15. What is a magneto timing light used for, and what does it indicate? It is used for both internal magneto timing and magneto to engine timing. It indicates the exact instant the magneto points open. Number 16. Why are turbine engines igniters generally not susceptible to carbon fouling? Because the high energy spark they produce clean off any deposits on the firing end. Number 17. What is the function of a duty cycle in relation to a turbine engine ignition system? A duty cycle allows the operation of the ignition system for a given amount of time and is then followed by the minimum specific specified cooling, time, cooling down period. Number 18. Why are the, what are the three main components of a turbine engine ignition system? Ignition exciters, high tension leads, and igniters. Number 19. When the engine is operating, what does an armature slash load meter indicate when connected to number one, battery positive lead, and number two, a generator output lead? The answer. When connected to the battery positive lead, the ammeter indicates whether the battery is charging or discharging. When connected to the generator output lead, it indicates the current produced by the generator or electrical system load. Number 20. What is done to ensure that each generator shares the load in a multiple generator system? The generators are paralleled. Number 21. Where would you find generator rating and performance data? on the data plate attached to the generator. Number 22, how is the voltage of a DC generator controlled? By varying the field current strength. Number 23, what is the most common type of alternator used in most aircraft AC systems? The three phase alternator. Number 24, how does, how does a voltage regulator control the voltage of an alternator? By regulating the voltage output of the DC exciter. Number 25. How does the speed of rotation and number of poles of an alternator determine? The frequency of the alternator output. Number 26. What are some of the methods used to maintain 400 hertz alternator output frequency on large turbojet or turbofan engines? Constant speed drives, integrated drive generators, and variable speed constant frequency power systems, otherwise known as VSCF. Number 27. Name the major parts of a DC motor. The armature, the field, the brushes, and the frame assembly. Number 28. Name the components of a direct cranking electronic or electric starter system. An electric motor reduction gears, and an automatic engaging and disengaging mechanism. Number 29. Name three types of DC motors. Series, shunt, and compound.
Number 30. What type of DC motor is commonly used for a reciprocating engine starter and why? A series wound motor is commonly used because it has high starting torque under heavy load conditions. Number 31. What are the operating modes of a turbine engine starter generator? It operates first as a starter, then as a generator one to the engine once the engine is running. Number 32. What is a, a possible indication when a starter drags? A dirty or worn starter commutator. Number 33. Where would wire with high temperature insulation material be used? when they run close to high temperature areas such as exhaust stacks or heating ducts. Number 34. What is the size of a what is the size standard for the electrical wire used in US manufactured aircraft? The American wire gauge. Number 35. How are wire sizes represented? By a numbered gauge size, the smaller wires are represented by larger numbers. The smallest size wire normally used in aircraft is 22 gauge. Number 36. What is the maximum slack allowed between the supports of a single wire or bundle installation? Not over a half inch. Number 37. Why are wires bonded on a power plant installations? To provide a current return path for electrical accessories and to prevent a static discharge.